Welcome back to more Pokemon Platinum. So last time we made it to Route 208 and I caught my third team member in Roselia. Another very popular choice in this game. And yeah, that last episode hasn't uploaded the time I'm recording this, so yeah, still weighing on that maybe, but that's okay. But anyway, let's explore Route 206. So yeah, like I said last time, Route 206 has some new Pokemon that we need to talk about, so yeah. Let me look into that real quick. So, yeah, let's cut this. And yeah, let's have a little look-see. So... So having a look, it's actually just two Pokemon, not three Pokemon. So yeah, let's start off with the one that's actually in Platinum, which is gonna be... Liga. So yeah, let's cut this. So Gligar, yeah, Gligar used to be a member of the club, and yeah, now it's a lot better, obviously. And there it is. But yeah, first thought though, one thing that you need to about Gligar is it's amazing ground flying type. A very good type that's both free of um, pretty good for offense, pretty good for defense too. It does have a time weakness to ice, but uh, the other strengths it has though are very nice. Probabilities is Hyper Cutter or Sand Veil. Sand Veil can be abused in this game because we do get a Sand Street Pokemon actually. So yeah, that might be the best ability to go with. And yeah, if you have that, yeah, you have a very annoying Pokemon on your hands. It's a Burn Heal. Let's talk about it. So. It starts, it starts with some alright moves, like, my knockout's not that great in this scenario because I'm not really fighting any trains that have all arms. But yeah, quick attack's there, fury attack, um, no, there's a glycor, <laughs> faint attack, screech, slash, sword stance, u turn, nexus, and guilty. A lot of great moves to be honest, and yeah, even learns like sword stance and u turn fill up, which is actually really good. Um, I think I. I will. I mean, it's three levels now, but maybe I don't need to fight it. Especially if it crits us. So, yeah. Um, it's alright, but yeah. Again, it used to be a member of the club, but now it has a shiny new evolution in Gliscor. So, Gliscor, you need a Razor Fang, which can be gone in the main game, so it's not proper. And it's a. And you need to use that. It needs to be holding that at night. So, yeah, its abilities are the same as so its type, but it has a more up to team. Also, Roselia is level 20. So, and yeah, now Hikers have to be afraid of us. Also, he's not Hiker. This is odd. I heard there were two gates on Route 206, but I can only find one entrance. Hmm. Here's some raw sprays. But anyway, you can now remember the Fang moves. Ice Fang is definitely an interesting one to think about. Poison Jab is also awesome, if you can remember. But after that, its move pull is the same, except for Night Slash of 31. So yeah. One thing I didn't talk about though, like got running into a lot of Pokemon that learned the move from Night Slash. And it actually has an interesting Japanese name. It's called like something along the lines of Crossroad Killing. It's something in Japan basically, as it cries up. That's actually one like the first like Pokemon trivia I've ever learned about. To say off. But again, it's like something in Japan. I think Samurai did that or something? It's very it's something very obscure. And yeah, it's an interesting way to name a move, that's what I'm shot by me. We have a lot of Auron berries, so yeah. The stat the tag is important for contests. I kinda of already showed that in Ancient 3 I'm pretty sure, but yeah. But TM wise, Gliscor's got it good. The only problem is it needs an earthquake too, which is why I didn't use it. Sag. Um, I also thought that the other ground type I was suggested to use fit the team better, so yeah. Even though again, ground flying is an amazing type, so it can fit in a lot of teams to be But there's also like Brip Break, Air Lace could be used for flying stab. It also can them fly, that's something I really wish it could do. That's also fun. Because I just healed it. Yeah. Uh, I hate it when he can't escape. And you get knocked out. <laughs> I have revised, I can use those, so yeah. 
I really shouldn't be. I mean, I tried to run away. Oh, yeah. What other moves are there? Roost is extremely annoying. It gets rock polished, so yeah, you could do a double dance move set with it. Um. Yeah, four of these. Yeah, you can do like a double dance move set because it lends source as well. Of course, Rock Sight's amazing tank coverage. That's really all you know. Again, it can't let them fly. I really wish it could. I would have used a lot more if it could. <laughs> Just saying. Um. I do have potion 6, sorry. I was hoping there was a lot more hikers on the street to fight. They, uh. They just don't want to appear. It looks like. But anyway. Well, I think there is one coming up. Here's a super repel. That's actually very really useful. And finally, a hiker to fight. Unfortunately, if I run to another Pokemon, I'm very annoying. Good thing though, it's a cheap dude to see her. Anyway, for the move tutors, Glyscore gets Aqua Tail, that's the main one. And then for Egg Moves, there's some pretty cool ones. Um, like, I mean, there, there isn't really that many good ones to be honest. Like, it's mostly moves that lets me level up my Night Sash again. Or um, Cross Poison, which is an interesting option, but uh, I wouldn't go for that. But anyway, stat wise, it's actually must. it wants to be more defensive, I guess. Although, it's definitely got other great offensive stats, like 95 attack and 95 speed, that's awesome. Finally, a hiker. Well, you star me. Well, we may as well battle. Alright. <laughs> but of course, it has 125 defense and 75 HP. It's a social attack, yeah, you don't want to use that. And 75 defense, yeah, it makes very good use of that type. It's very bulky. That's a nice shot. <laughs> it can take hits very well, but it's a great type, and of course, it can fight back really good too. And yeah, it should have no problems fighting back, especially if you really go all out with me. So there, yeah, again. The fact that I call an Earth Kick will level up is the main reason why I decided not to use it. Um, the other ground type can, so yeah. That one you see so, yeah. That does make my options for type coverage a bit more interesting to see what you see. So, yeah. I could have saved the Earth Kick TM for it to be honest, but again, I think the other ground type fits my team better, so yeah. The only problem is that Pokemon's caught on quite late, so yeah. Your power style is good. That's the one good thing about Glycor, it can be caught pretty early. And yeah, Glycor itself isn't too bad, it's just that as a playable Pokemon, it was very unpleasant. But anyway, let's go on to the Diamond Exclusive Pokemon. I thought there was a Pearl Exclusive Pokemon that's not here yet. There's a Poison Bar, who's the part of Poison type moves. And over here is a cave. I think we're gonna go into this cave in this part. And another Pomito to annoy me again. Well, luckily I ran from it. I was three levels higher than it. I couldn't run away from it the first two turns. But here's Waver Cave. I was worried that the MA wouldn't be able to show... I was about to call it Fog of War. Darkness, I should be saying. Um, but luckily... It can. And there we go. We actually light the whole place up, so that's nice. That was not something I was expecting there, anyway. anyway, only in Diamond you can find the new Pokemon Stunky. Um, I'm also going to double check Wayward Cave, because that's the new area we're in. Um, and Wayward Cave, you can find Bronzor's here too, but that's really it. Other than that, there aren't that many new Pokemon. There's like no new Pokemon here, so yeah. Anyway, let's use Rosalia. So this place, you want to reach the end of it. First. It also can help to have a map of this place because it's confusing to explore. And yeah, you may notice there's some double bars. Look at that deal, but anyway, let's talk about Stunky now. While I run to million more Pokemon. <laughs> Stunky, poison dart type, another good type. Um, only we can ground. Although I think it's not as offensive as the other. Um, poison dart type, which is the only problem with it. We'll look at the stats of Um Two interesting abilities in Stench and Aftermath. But yeah, apparently, um, I don't know if it does that in this generation. I believe Stench, what it normally does is scare away wild Pokemon. 
But um, it can also make the opponent flinch on the generations. I don't know if that's one. If this game's one of those generations, I feel like that's a Gen 5 thing. But anyway, it's always definitely a pretty good one in Aftermath. Which, yeah, we already talked about drifting. It evolves at level 34, which is kind of late. Before then, though, you got some... Alright moves. It got an update moves in Platinum, which is odd because you can't catch it in Platinum. But anyway. It doesn't learn actually that many good moves. Like, Slash at 22 is like its best attacking move for a little while. It also gets Toxic at 27, which is a really kind of nice. And, um, Night Slash at 32, which would be its main form of attack. And then it evolves into Skuntuck. So Skuntuck I have used before, actually. And I've kind of liked it, to be honest. But anyway, I know it evolves into its Flamethrower. That's a cool move, but the thing is, is that, um, it's not very strong. On this weapon. If you really want to use a fire type move on it, I recommend Fire Blast. Because that's a lot stronger. And yeah, the type coverage you get from it is pretty cool. After that, though, it lands only two moves after that Memento and Explosion, which is hilarious because this thing is an organic being and it just, yeah. I don't know how it does that, but yeah. It's very funny to think about that. But anyway, <laughs> But again, yeah, Explosion's a strong move, so yeah. Unfortunately, it doesn't really have good synergy with Aftermath, but that's okay. Um, we actually want to keep going upwards. I don't think you want to go there. I think you want to go up and to the right in this place. Man, yeah, on the Explosion be hilarious. Um, again, I recommend Fire Blast if you really want a fire move. And then Poison Trap. And that's really it for TMs, although it does get the Fog. Which is a good move. Not really in this game. It removes entry hazards, so people consider it a good move. Incompatible, obviously. And then for mood tutors, Sucker Punch is the only good one, although that's a good move. Um, and then after that, it's Egg Moves, where it gets Crunch, which is better than Night Slash, because it has 10 power. And I guess Punishment? Punishment's a strong move, but yeah. Uh, I shouldn't run from that, but that's okay. Um, there you go, nothing too great there. And then for stats, it's okay, I guess. It has 93 attack and 84 speed. It has 103 HP. Now again, I don't think it's as offensive as the other one. It's not even that bulky, either. it's like an okay poison dart type that lends a good boost, but that's really it. Like I said, I've used it before. I kind of liked it, to be honest. Again, I wish I would let Fire Blast and stuff flamethrower. That would make it a lot more fun to use, but yeah. Other than that though, it's alright. It's an alright Pokemon, I'd say. Um, unfortunately, that's a super touch. Which means... Okay, I can run for it. Very nice. So that's the only new Pokemon that we need to talk about now. We talked about Glygar and Skuntek. So yeah. And we're right to a lot of our Pokemon. The smart thing to do would probably put up a repel, actually. Um, that's okay, so yeah. Man, there's a Geo dude. I probably should take it out because, again, we could use that experience. Probably. Maybe this fight train is the thing. And yeah, the wall folk got kind of annoying you now. So anyway, now that I've talked about that Pokemon, yeah, Wayward Cave. I should talk about this haze a lot. Yeah, okay, yeah, this haze is confusing to be honest. Like I said, I normally like to go with a map of this place to be honest, because again, that's how confusing this place is. Um, because it's large and there's a lot of dead ends. Um, you can always use Rock Smash to help you out. I recommend that move a lot. Of course, you definitely want Flash, because otherwise this place gets horrible to it. Um, explore. And yeah, this. I talk about this stuff with Flash. And it's still, like, really confusing to explore. Um. Yeah, not a big fan of this place. Luckily, though, yeah, you do get some help. But the problem is, is that your help is at the end of this place, basically. So you basically need to escort them out, is what happens. Well, of course, we can take advantage of that. Anyway, we can knock out another Geo dude and get to level 22. We're gonna be like Giga Drink soon, which is really nice. Hey, there it is, level 22. Grass Whistle. That's a 
very inaccurate grass type move. I don't think I want to get rid of that. Yeah, it's 55 pop, I could put early to sleep. I am much prefer stun sword though. It's also gonna just grass type version of sink, which is really odd. Especially because the sleep powers, I think. Although I don't think Rosalia gets that move, it's a breed move, so yeah. And I don't really have any plans to breed my Rosalia, so yeah. Although yeah, sleep powers is definitely a very good move. One move I definitely consider um, breeding for, but anyway. Yeah, like I said, yeah, this face confused me a lot as it could. Um, even now, it's still kind of confusing too. I think, yeah. When I was playing this back in 2021, <coughs> that's the last time I played Platinum. Yeah, I probably used a mat to help me get through this place. And yeah, the, the lot of cars are definitely not helping at all, so yeah. Well, luckily, yeah, we can knock them out. So yeah. Let's use another Mega Train here and take this in. So yeah. So we do that. And yeah, we're getting there in the levels. And here she is. Oh, that was weird. I'm Myra. I was catching a and then I got lost. I was so scared. Please, face me through the exit. We get help, finally. We got Myra. I'll keep the Pokemon healthy all the time. Now we get a yellow shot. Yeah, you want to the rocks in this place because a lot of them have hidden items. Nothing there, it looks like. And finally, we're gonna run to a wild battle so we can talk about what Myra does for us. So, Myra uses a Kadabra, a very good Pokemon. Level 26, so yeah. That's gonna be a lot higher level than what we find, so yeah. What I'm gonna hope she does is take up the Zuba, which yeah, she has Shockwave. She also has Confusion, I'm pretty sure, too. She also likes to lower the accuracy because she has Flash herself, actually. Um, and yeah, with Kadabra, we should be able to get a lot of experience these well Pokemon, so yeah. There we go. And yeah, this is how I'm gonna make Rosalia get caught up. Oh my, I just ran to a Pokemon in the same space. Yeah, that can happen sometimes. But anyway, I like Mara to be honest. She isn't a character to be honest, she doesn't do much outside of healthy and wave okay. But hey, it's kinda cool that she's like completely um It's kinda cool that she's completely optional. Stuff as well. And yeah, like I said, she's extremely useful because yeah, that Kadabra really um, helps. It's normally faster than your other Pokemon, which can be a bit annoying because. Um, it can be annoying because. Um, yeah, she can basically knock up the wrong Pokemon. I have seen her do that a couple of times, so yeah. Hey, anyway, what's the trans down here? Finally. <laughs> you look like you might just have the Pokemon I've been looking for. In Deep Tunnels of Caves, there are a couple of things you should see. Zubat and Ruin Maniac. So here we got Ruin Maniac. They like to use, like, fossil Pokemon, I think. And we also got the Collector, which likes to use rare Pokemon. Like, Gibble over there. <laughs> So yeah, let's use Magical Leaf on the Geodude, I think. And it looks like a damage is going to knock it out for us. Very nice. But yeah, one difference with Dull Vows in this game is that, um... And we go to 23. And there we go, we're going to go for Magical Leaf. Yeah, I just saw that though, is that one change between Gen 3 and Gen 4, which is very noticeable if you play them, Colosseum, which I might talk about, I think. Because I need something to talk about while we're just, you know, making our way. He also has a bronze, on, which is very annoying. I'm probably gonna go for a leech seed on it, but anyway. And yeah, they will. Uh, the cadaver went for the so that's okay. But yeah, one change is that um, if a Pokemon gets knocked out during a turn, yeah, that's an extremely strong move. Um, it doesn't do much though, so that's good. But anyway, 
So, what I was trying to say, so yeah, in Double Battles, one change they made was that if a Pokemon gets knocked out, it doesn't get automatically sent in. That's something that happened in Gen 3, but not in Gen 4 and beyond, so yeah. It basically means that, yeah, you can't basically knock out two of that Pokemon. Like, the Pokemon that gets sent in isn't gonna get immediately knocked out. I guess they didn't like the idea of that happening, so yeah. That's why I changed that. So, I'm gonna talk about something. Let's talk about Colosseum a little bit, because again, we're gonna be doing some dull battling. I have played it. I did my first playthrough also in 2021. But I haven't played XD, and I wanna talk about that too while I'm here as well, because, yeah. Again, we're basically doing double battles and stuff, so yeah, that's why it comes to me. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, like I said, I like this game a lot. The, um,. Of course, you do a lot of double battle in that game, and that's definitely one reason I really like it a lot. Because, yeah, those games actually made me like double battles, to be honest. Because, yeah, they feel very fun and strategic, but also allow, like, lesser Pokemon to actually shine. Um, like, yeah, my playthrough is definitely a good example of that, because um, I used a <laughs> Jump Club, and all the Jump Club did was support my other Pokemon. You don't have a single Pokemon world, you're no collector. You're awesome parts, Mr. Fine. You also got a lot of money. That's nice. But anyway, there should be an item here. Huh? And in fact there is. Eight blue shots. I find there's a lot of shots in this place. Anyway, so about to call a scene. So yeah. Um yeah, sure. The gameplay is very slow. The battle is are very slow. The game's just slow in general, to be honest, but yeah. Um, still though, it's very fun to figure out that team I made, and yeah, it was a good team too. I also played alongside my brother too, and that definitely helped as well. He also played, um, alongside me, like I said, so yeah. He was using his own team, so. Um, they had a lot of fun doing it. I also like the plot, to be honest, too. Yeah, I feel like it was supposed to probably capitalize on the moody mood. <laughs> That was a weird way of saying that. Like, yeah, you want to... I feel like it's one of those games, like Shadow the Headshot, that want to try and appeal to... They try to appeal to a wider demographic by make it look more dark and edgy and stuff. What? What every good pick that needs is a cute saying, good food, and a fun battle. What? Are you lost too? No, it doesn't matter. Let's have a quick Pokemon battle. But anyway. So... Same, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, like I said. Although the thing about, um... The thing about how Colosseum did it. I think Colosseum did it better than Shadow Hedgehog. I think Shadow Hedgehog comes off as kind of cringe. <laughs> to me, at least. Um, I haven't played that game. It doesn't look like something I'd be super interested in, which is why I haven't yet, so yeah. Um... The same goes for, like some other Sonic games because yeah the thing about me and Sonic is that I've only played I've only played um Sonic Colors all the way through. So yeah I wouldn't say I'm a very knowledgeable person when it comes to the series so yeah. I think another thing about Kadabra is that I think they like to go for kills if they can. Um kind of like a farm of AI I guess but anyway I guess that makes sense. So that's why I went for the hoot that turn. I'm not entirely sure that's true, but it feels like it. But anyway, that's what I'm talking about. So, um... So like I said, <laughs> the Sonic Tatcher, I guess. Yeah, like I said, I only play Colors. The other games don't interest me too much. That wasn't any fun for me. Lost? There's nothing lost about this game. Although, yeah, I will admit, there are definitely some good Sonic games. Like, Sonic Forces looks amazing, to be honest. There's a great ball. Very nice guess on my part. Another hit on But anyway. Sonic Forces are great because, again, I love the soundtrack in that game. That's the main reason why I like it so much, but yeah. I need to take a sip of it. But yeah, again, it is very easy to make fun of Sonic because, you know, there was, um... Yeah, I think that's true because, yeah, they went for the confusion. But anyway. I think it's like, 
I think it's very easy to make Parasite because, of course, Sonka's definitely had some stinkers. Like, um... Sonka 6, obviously, and Sonic Boom Race with Bricks, so yeah. But yeah, that's a shame. Because there are definitely some good Sonic games, like I said. Like I said, I'm quite interested in Sonic Forces. And maybe trying out some other games, too. But yeah, it does also feel like, yeah, Sonic kind of lost this way, too, because he had a leash, which is a very good game. Except for the Werehog. The Werehog, yeah, wasn't the best gimmick. It wasn't really well received either. And it also took up a lot of the game, which is a shame because Sonic Unleashed really nailed the um daytime gameplay, the boost one and stuff. Which yeah, I would go to I would come to enjoy a lot when I played um when I played them colours obviously, so yeah. And yeah, I did like colours too, that's a good game. But anyway. So that's what I'm talking about. Um yeah, uh Again, yeah, like I said, <laughs> Sonic is definitely inconsistent and then lost his way a little bit, but yeah, like I said, Sonic Forces though does seem like to be a pretty big light spot for the series. As yeah, games seem to be well received and yeah, like I said, I love the soundtrack. It seems like a very <laughs> fun game. But yeah, that's what I'm talking about, yeah, like I said, I'm not too interested in what Sonic was doing during like the early 2000s. Because yeah, the adventure games, they're kind of weird in my opinion. There's Giga Drain. That's the uh, one main reason why I decided to catch Resilient now. I want to get this food, because I might keep it for the whole game, we'll see. It's only 60 power, though. that's the only problem with doing that. Energy Ball would be much stronger, but Energy Ball can be used with tight coverage, so yeah, it's a difficult choice. But yeah, I might cave in and use Energy Ball. Once we get the TM for it, which is in the post game, but anyway. Uh, <laughs> yes, I think the higher attack power is more important, but anyway. Um, so I've had to talk about, yeah, like I said, I wasn't, I'm not a big fan of the Sonic Adventure games, especially because of what I heard from my brother, because my brother, yeah, he despised Sonic Adventure 2 when he played that. Yeah, he's one of those people who don't like that game that much, I think he played it, so yeah. And yeah, I'm like, yeah, I'm not so sure if I want to give it a go myself after hearing that, so yeah. Then Confused is very Luckily though, yeah, Kadabra is the one who can hit that thing the hardest, so yeah. Then go for Giga Trainer. Yeah, then Giga Trainer so is very nice, and yeah, I don't think I need to learn any other moves, so yeah, I'm probably going to evolve it as soon as I get a shiny stone, so yeah. Yeah, I can use Giga Trainer to get my health back, which is very nice, but anyway. That's what I'm talking about, so yeah, um... Let's go back to Colosseum now that I've done that little side tension, but anyway. So like I said, again, I think it pulled off the Dark Re-Emerson better, because yeah, I felt the story was interesting, because I think what was happening fit the thing well, because he had Pokemon getting stolen by Team Stackham, obviously, so yeah, it's definitely not a super peaceful place. Humph, you're lost, are you? Oh god, if you can beat me. Where am I? Am I lost by you? I Pokemon train? Alright, see ya, that's what I'm talking about, see ya. Like I said, you had like Pokemon getting stolen and stuff, and yeah, the story took itself quite seriously, I think? I mean, it wasn't the most serious thing in the world, probably, but yeah, again, it kind of appealed to me, to be honest. I don't mind it that much, so yeah. Again, I don't mind, yeah, again, like I said, I don't mind it that much. I thought it was pretty cool, to be honest. XD definitely did a more lighthearted story. It felt like your traditional Pokemon game, which I think is one reason why people don't like it as much. But still, I think it's still got a decent plot. Despite, you know, the more simple... The fact that it is more simple. When compared to, um... When compared to Colosseum, but anyway, back to Colosseum, yeah, like I said. Again, I enjoyed myself playing it. Yeah, snagging all the sharp pockets a little bit annoying sometimes, but it wasn't too bad. I think, yeah, that <laughs> jump bluff I mentioned, yeah... You don't really have to win, I'm not gonna guide you now. Okay, so bow chase, that's a start, right? <laughs> Here's a revive to make up for the one I used earlier. No hidden armor, looks like. And then again, I don't think the range is that good on it, so yeah, maybe, um, maybe I need to be a little careful with that. But anyway, there's a bad room to Yeah, I'm probably just gonna run from it then. 
Oh, the Ryoko's still level up. See, we're catching up quite quickly. Which is nice, but anyway. So, like I said, again, Colosseum, good gameplay in my opinion. Yeah, the spike at the end is kind of annoying. Because, yeah. <laughs> it definitely wants to show me that, yeah, it's very e Like, yeah, I actually made the final bit look easy, and then the only reason why was because I was over level for it, so yeah. <laughs> I was on their level and I completely destroyed it, so yeah. That just goes to show you yeah, why level matters so much important. Because yeah, the only reason why that sector is so hard is yeah, you, you're supposed to be on the level for it, so yeah. So yeah, once you're able to conquer it, then yeah, it becomes really satisfying, but yeah. And yeah, the post game's like whatever. It's whatever in XD2, to be honest, but yeah, from what I see of it, so yeah. Maybe, yeah, I guess I'm gonna talk about XD now. So yeah, from what I've seen of it, yeah, I've seen a lot of XD to be honest. I've seen like, three people play it. Four people actually. <laughs> Two of them were full playthroughs though. Um, one of those of course is my brother. But yeah, like I said, I saw four people play that game. And yeah, it's a big shock that I still haven't played it to be honest. I really should to be honest, but yeah. Again, the racing games. <laughs> I think that's the main reason why is, yeah, I've been playing a lot of racing games during this time, but anyway. Hush now, lost little Pokemon, don't you cry, I'm here to take care of you. Do you kind of play too, you wanna battle me? <laughs> but anyway. Yeah, again, like I said, it's kind of weird that, you know, I haven't played it yet, even though you know, I've seen so many people play it myself, so yeah. Again, it's very strange. But yeah, like I said, I do like the improvements, of course, yeah, the story is a lot more painful, than it, but then again, I don't really mind that that much. It's still a decent plot at the end of the day, so yeah, can't really go wrong with that. Um, and then, yeah, like I said, I think the gameplay improves a bit. Like, with the new Shadow Pokemon, there's a lot more options now. A lot of the Shadow Pokemon are obviously better too, because they have better style moves as well. Even some special moves as well, some of egg moves too. All pretty nice stuff. That's frustration. <laughs> um, ooh, that a lot. Um, man, yeah, that probably means that yeah, you're probably gonna knock it up the mirror, right? Yep. But anyway. So yeah, that's what I'm talking about. See so, ya. Yeah. Like I said, XD, yeah, I like the improved state gameplay. Yeah, it can be a bit annoying because, again, um, once you do get to the key layer and you have to start snagging multiple Pokemon and battle, yeah, that's when things get um, gnarly. That's when things can get very gnarly, so yeah. Um, but yeah. Um, that's something I am interested to see how I feel about it, because, yeah, again, um... I'm only used to Colosseum, but yeah, you need to snag one shot Pokemon. But yeah, it'll be interesting when I build my team. Probably gonna use a ledge type of Thunder Wave. That's probably the best way to deal with, um... All the Shadow Pokemon you snag, so yeah. And it's also kind of weird that, yeah, the game gets kind of blurred at the end, because yeah, half the Shadow Pokemon you need are in the final area of the game, so yeah. It's a very odd game to think about when you think about like that. Yeah, like I said, though, it does intrigue me a lot. I definitely need to try it out one day because, again, I like Colosseum. I like the fact that yeah, you dull that all the time. See, so, yeah. <laughs> who's crying now? You're just toy. Man, yeah, reserves really well and truly cool up now. And yeah, <laughs> level up Pokemon. But yeah, again, we get healed after three battles, so yeah. There's really no reason to like, fight these whole Pokemon. In fact, it's probably smart to just use repels. Man, what Pokemon I use? Yeah, I've already thought of like Pokemon I want to use that play with playing. Team Fight 2 Double Team. Again, you know what that move does. I don't like it that much, especially because yeah, pretty much every Pokemon learns it too, so yeah. Let's use repels and galvia quick, so yeah. And try for Nope. Alright. So yeah, like I said. 
Okay, and I have been thinking about Pokemon use. I think I have an idea. The good thing about um, XD is that a lot of my favorite Pokemon happen to be in that game, so yeah. It'd probably be very easy to just use those, so yeah. Look, a train lost a wave of cake. <laughs> Wandering around, I got hungry, so I ate some wild mushrooms. They gave me gas, so now I can't stop burping, bro. <laughs> oh boy. Send us using rock type Pokemon uh, for us. Let's go for that nice Kinga Dream. So, anyway, back to our talk about. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah. Uh, again, that that we Yeah, like I said, XD does have a lot of Pokemon that happen to be some of my favorites. So, yeah, I can definitely use those in my playthrough. So, yeah. I don't even think about that, but yeah, of course. I can experiment with some potentially uh, useful uh, Pokemon as well. So, yeah. Again, something to think about if I do play it myself. Um, and yeah, I guess I really want to. It was, um, I thought I did that Persona 3 Portable playthrough. It is definitely a game I'm considering one day to play on the channel for the first time. It won't be a blind playthrough though, because again, I've seen two full playthroughs. I straight from the bar, but bleh, <coughs> I think I'm getting better. <laughs> anyway. Let's say right here. Ooh, there is. I read shot. Yeah, there's a lot of shots in this place. But anyway, so yeah, again, I'm pretty excited to play that one day. We'll see if I do. Yeah, anyway, it would be cool to play for the first time on the channel. That could be something fun to do. But yeah, again, we'll see. Dolphin is something I need to work on. How to make it run better. I can make the PS2 and the run quite well. But yeah, Dolphin's obviously a lot harder. For me, at least, because I've hardly played any games on it, so yeah. Also, I brothers the one I set up, which, yeah. Yeah, he did a good job. Definitely. But yeah, I wonder if he could do even better by looking up some set advice, so yeah. But yeah, we're actually out, so yeah, no problem though. Oh, there's the exit. I want to get tougher, so I won't be such a skate cat. Naraka, bye bye, thank you. And we help Myra out. I mean, that's everything in that place. I hope. But yeah, someone did mention something kind of weird though. Another entrance. You can use Flash here, but it doesn't matter that much because um, we're going to be leaving this place. <laughs> yeah, you see there's some stairs. But here's the basement for the way you can. And yeah, guess what? There's a new wild encounter in this area. Um, so at a 20% encounter, you can find Gibble. Yup, you can find Gibble. <laughs> oh boy. Um, that's a Pokemon that's going to be fun to talk about. So let's find it in the Pokedex. So Gibble is a Dragon Ground type with a Sand Veil blade. Again, you can actually abuse Sand Veil in this game if you really want. Um, I think we want repels because... Um, I think we want repels because yeah, we are using the bike a lot here. Also, Dust Stone. You'll find that pretty early in this game. But yeah, I should mention one thing too. You can't actually access this area this early in... Actually, I don't remember if you need strength already or not. I feel like you do, but yeah. But yeah, over here we need to do this. I need to concentrate a little bit because, yeah. We've got a lot of um, cycling to do here. And yeah, these repels wearing off is making me a little bit tense, but anyway. Nothing over there. As you see there, yeah, we've got a lot of hopping to do. So you can hop all the way and get this max Aoife. And now we want to do that, because yeah, now we can actually um, progress. This is my last normal repel. So probably want to go back and buy more of them. See, that is another item. 
the chicken hop over. The grip claw, that um, extends the duration of moves that hit over multiple turns. So basically, rapid fire spin. Oh, I need to go faster. And all my repels are gone, so we need to use the super repel we got recently. So, okay, I messed that up. Actually, yeah, technically I did, but I can hop down here and get a rare candy, that's very useful. So here, yeah, I need to do, be quick. Not gonna be easy though. There it is. So, all my repels are gone. <laughs> but yeah, they ran out of good time. Because over here, TN26 Earthquake! <laughs> this early? Yeah, that's an amazing move, obviously. Guess what, you can find Glygor, and it can use this move. Gibble can use this move. They both need an Earthquake team anyway, so yeah. Um, they're gonna be really good at this point again. But anyway, let's get out of here and let's talk about Gibble now. Now I've, you know, concentrated. So, Gibble, it's a dragon ground type that evolves at level 24 into, um, the bite. But first off, it does send some okay moves at this point. The main one's Dragon Rage. Then, as Gabite, um, yeah, that's just really nice. Then, as Gabite, it has. It can lend Slash, Dragon Claw, and Dig. And then, yeah, of course, the main thing about this line of Pokemon is, of course, its final evolution. Garchomp. Oh, there's a good one. But anyway, Garchomp. Again, Dragon Ground type has Sandville for its ability. It does level up kind of silly, which is annoying, but um, it more than makes up for that, let's just say. You can remember Fire Fang, it lends Crunch when it evolves. There's also Dragon Rush, 100 power Dragon type move, but only has same 5 accuracy, but it may make the target flinch. Yeah, that's strong. I'm more, I prefer Dragon Claw more to be honest, but yeah. You could consider it. Anyway, double away your cave down, awesome. And yeah, Roselia is a lot stronger now. So yeah, for TMs, I highly recommend that Earthquake TM we just got. Um, what else is good? Brick Break could be interesting. Fire Moves could be interesting. There's Fire Fang, but Fire Blast can also be considered. Stone Edge and Rock Side are of course great coverage. There's even Sword Stats too. And then for Move Tutors... There's a special Move Tutor later that I can also make good use of, but yeah, we'll talk about that later. Other ones that come to mind are potentially Aqua Tail, which could be a fun move, but one very good move to consider in the post game, I do believe, so it becomes available. Outrage! 120 power Dragon type move. That's physical, because it's a physical deck. So yeah, um, strong. Very strong move. It does have a really bad downside where it confuses you after you use it and you're locked into using it, but yeah. That hurts really bad. <laughs> it's the main reason why this Pokemon got banned from Kapur, because yeah, that happened. Egg moves. Outrage is also there, but you can also get Iron Head this way too. Double Edge could be interesting, same place. And Mud Shot in Hard God Soul Silver. Yeah, that's good. And then, of course, the stats. You already know 130 attack, 102 speed, 80 special attack, 85 special offense, 95 defense, 102 HP. It's resilient, it hits like a truck, it's extremely fast. Yeah, what's wrong with the Sokka? Title weakness, obviously, but yeah, the ice. But yeah, one of the best pseudo Pokemon ever, pseudo legendary Pokemon ever. And yeah, <laughs> I've used it before, yeah, it's disgusting how good this thing is. And level 48 isn't even that bad to evolve it, too. Yeah, it isn't super strong as Gabite, but yeah, Gabite doesn't have the hardest time because Earthquake is a good stab move for it, so yeah. There again, what's wrong with this Pokemon? Yeah, not much, it's amazing. <laughs> Absolutely love it. So yeah. And you're not having repulse is not great, but yeah, uh, we have to make it do it looks like. So yeah. Uh, 
I think I'm actually gonna end off outside because yeah, if I do get the nickname for the next spot, then yeah, I can go off. If not, then yeah, that means I can go back to home. But anyway, let's end off here. Now I talked about how awesome Garchomp is. Yeah, I love Garchomp too, to be honest as well. It's an amazing Pokemon. Absolutely so. So anyway, that's it. We explored Wayward Cave. Our Roselia is looking a lot nicer in terms of levels. Now that's level 27. It's definitely going to be catching up very soon. And yeah, we um... Anyway, we also met with Myra and that amazing Kadabra, and he made it through, yeah, like I said. And we also got that Earthquake TM in the secret place of Baby Key, and also talked about the amazing Garchomp, so yeah. So yeah, next time... <laughs> I could have used Garchomp to be honest, but yeah, I decided to use a suggested ground type Pokemon. Because I thought it would fit the team better, but anyway. So next time we're actually going to go to Heart Home State because I think we've done everything that involves like backtracking and stuff, so yeah. Um, I think I've done everything that involves like backtracking through other areas with like cut and the bike, so yeah. That means we're good to progress now, so yeah. We're going to go back to Heart Home and go explore it in the next spot, so look forward to that and I'll see you guys again for that.